What's up YouTube? Today I was wondering what type of video I could do and it hit me. Why not talk about the pros and cons of being a professional Call of Duty player? A lot of people think it's all rainbows and sunshines, but at the end of the day there is a couple cons and bad things about being a professional Call of Duty player and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. For instance, one, you can never do anything. If you want to go chill with some friends, if you want to go out, you know, everything is already scheduled for you. You have events, you have league matches. You have maybe tournaments your team wants to play, maybe scrims. There's always something coming up, and it really just, it really holds you back. You know, it, it resists you from going to places. You know, you can't really do what you want to do. It just really limits you. A lot of people don't understand that being a professional Call of Duty player, or even maybe a, uh, being a professional in any other sport, or so to say, so to speak. You know, you you're really limited. You can't you you can't always go by your schedule. Like for example, you want to go out. On the weekend, you know, oh shit, or your your graduation's on this weekend, oh snap, there's an event. Or, you know, it's it, the list goes on and on. It, it, it sucks, but that's just how it is, and that's something you always have to deal with. You understand that also with gaming, a lot of, you have to have a lot of sacrifices. A lot of gamers aren't in a relationship, and the ones that are in a relationship, uh, you know, their loved one understands that they understand the whole situation. They understand that sometimes they have to put a lot of hours on gaming, they can't spend time with her. For example, I'm with Maria. We've been dating for three hours, three years, I'm about to say three hours, three years, and you know, it's hard, it's never easy, you know, there's times where we, where we fight, where we argue, you know, when I'm playing too much, when I don't have time to spend with her, or I don't go out with her, or we want to go somewhere special, but hey, look, I got a league match today, I can't, or hey, there's an event this weekend, I know you had something special planned out, going to somewhere else, but you know, we can't, we just can't do it, I'm very sorry, and it just goes on and on like that, and it, it just sucks. But in this industry, you gotta understand that sacrifices do need to be made if you want to be successful in this. If you really want this to be your your full time job, your life, you know, this is something you really full want this as a future. You have to make sacrifices. You have to implement all the time you can, and that's just the way it is. And sometimes it sucks, and I know it, it really sucks, especially for the people you care about, the people you love. But that's just the way it is always gonna be. And if you want to keep competing at the top level, you need to put in the hours, you need to put in the time, you need to show why you're the best, and that requires a lot of practice and a lot of work. And there's other stuff that people don't realize, for example, the, the amount of stress, the amount of hard work it takes to become at the top. You know, people think, hey, you know, he's a professional Call of Duty player, like, oh, he just did it, and one day, boom, he's a Call of Duty. No, it required a lot of time, a lot of hard work, a lot of stress, a lot of, you know, stressing out, oh my god, am I going to do this, am I ever going to become a professional player, wow, I'm a professional player, am I doing bad, do I suck, how can I improve, how can I improve, oh, I shit the bet on this map, what can I do to get better, and it just keeps going on, it's a never-ending train, you know, none of us are perfect, we all make mistakes, we all need to improve, and that list just goes on and on, and there's never going to be a day, maybe one day, maybe one day you'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm a really good player, you know, I'm just chilling, I'm having fun, I'm doing really good, but there's always going to be a day, you know, it's like a roller coaster, it has ups and downs. There's going to be a day where you just like, you don't play somewhere, you're like, damn. Like, is it online? Is it land? Did I shit the, is it, did my shit in the bed because my connection sucks? Uh, what am I doing wrong? Like, how can I fix this? I just let my team down, you know, and it goes back to, oh, I'm on, t I'm on a team. You know, we are a team, we're a unit of four, and all of us want us, all of us are aiming for the same goal. We all want to be the best, we all want to succeed, we want to succeed as a team, we want to be known as the best team, and you guys all share the same goal. But when one player is holding you back, especially you're that player, you're like, damn, like it just really hits you. It makes you feel bad. You're like, what can I do? How can I improve? You know, I'm, I'm holding the team back. You know, I need to start stepping it up. And it's just a whole bunch of million things that's going around your mind. And, you know, this is a career, so to speak. That's if you want to make it a career. You know, a lot of players don't do YouTube. A lot of players don't stream. And some of them don't want to do this forever. Some of them just are, are, in, are in it for the long run. But half of the other pros are, but just don't put in the time, don't do the extra stuff that's needed to do. And streaming and doing YouTube can be exhausting at times, can be, you know, very tiring. But you know, at the end of the day, if you want it as bad as anyone else does, if you, if you, like, you're in a really good spot. You're a professional player, a lot of people look, to, look up to you, a lot of people love you, you know, a lot of people want to see you more, a lot of people want to watch you more, and stuff like that. And you, it's your job to start streaming, to do YouTube, and all that stuff. Now, it benefits you as well in the end, so you might as well do it. But it can be very exhausting, very tiring. But like I'm saying, at the end of the day, if you want this to be your career, if you want this, is if, if this is your full-time job, then you have to be doing it. And that's what I do because I did take a break from school. You know, I'm planning to start maybe next semester. I've taken a class or two. But I did take a break for almost a whole, uh, I think it was a whole year. Kind of, it was like a year and a half. It was like a, um, almost a year. It was almost a year. And you know, it's what I got to do, man. Sacrifices have to be made. All right, now let's talk about a whole bunch of pros. Being a professional Call of Duty player is awesome. You play for money, 
you know, you play for uh, sometimes even a huge amount of money, even though Call of Duty sometimes isn't the biggest price pool. You know, Dota, I think, had a tournament of like $8 million. I think it was bigger, $12 million maybe. I don't remember. It's insane. But, you know, you're still playing for money. You know, this is a job. This is something you do instead of being, you know, working eight hours in a convenience store, a convenience store or in an office, you know, filing papers. You're at home playing a video game, which you usually enjoy. It can be tiring and repetitive and exhausting sometimes. But normally you enjoy it. You enjoy shooting virtual bodies. So it's something, you know, very fun. It's something that catches your attention. It's something that you love doing. It's it's something you really love. And if not, you wouldn't be doing it. So, you know, that's a really good pro of it. You know, a lot of people wish they had that. But a lot of people wish they had that dream of being a professional Call of Duty player. And it isn't easy to get there, of course. You know, it takes time. It takes a lot of hard work. But once you're there, it's awesome, you know. And then on top of that, you have the fame. You know, you have a lot of people who love to who look up to you, who who are inspired by you, who love you, who want to be like you one day, or who want to reach your, maybe your, ty your type of skill, you know, it's like, damn, like, for example, damn, Scumpy's really good, man, I want to be just like Scumpy, you know, I'm going to be a beast like him, and it's, it's just examples like that, and that's an awesome feeling, I always, like, as I was growing up, you know, I've always been inspired by, not to say very big, important cele cele celebrities, out there but you know just people who I really felt like really hard worked hard for what they got uh, whether it was a uh, maybe a boxer a fighter a guy in the NFL or whatever the case may be and that's what really inspires me that's what inspires me and motivates me to be better to become better to work harder is that that type of work ethic and that's what I try to go by every single day and that's what I try to work as hard as I can you know push myself you know if I'm seeing I'm doing mistakes I can't you know maybe when I was back in the day and I didn't care as much but now this is this is something I put my full time this is something I want to be best at I'm gonna fix my mistake I'm gonna see what I did wrong how can I fix it how can I improve and that's just how my mentality is but you know like I said the theme you know it's awesome having people that look up to you and I want to inspire them more than they already inspired I want to show them that you know the it's the possibilities are endless you know you can do whatever you set your mind to and I want to show that and I want to also show that hard work does pay off when you put in the time when you put in the effort you're gonna see always improvement always whether it's big or small you will always see improvement some are luckier than others and see big improvements faster and some are unfortunate and see a little improvement but in the end of the day you will always see improvements and that's just how far how hard are you willing to put yourself how hard are you are you willing to go the extra mile you know to uh, to succeed to get where you want to be or are you gonna stop and certain half a mile you just you walk half a mile you're like I can't do this anymore like it's too hard like honestly you're just gonna give up and that's why a lot of people aren't professional players because they just give up halfway it isn't easy it's a long road it's a hard road and you know it sucks but that's just the way it is Tupac change and like I said the pros are, are a lot more better than the cons of course you know you got sponsorships G Fuel Scuff Astro look at this baby I got Astros right here that I got you probably see in the box right there, you know, Scuff sent me a new controller. I'm sorry for the sticks are a little dirty because they're white, but Scuff sent me a new controller. And this is all free, you know. Obviously, you know, I am affiliated with them. I, I rep their brand. I sh it's Obviously, they're getting a lot from me because as a person like me who shows, you know, I, oh, I play with the Scuff, I use this, you know, it gets more known out there. So it's obviously good on their part, but obviously it's good for me as well because I rep them and I get free controllers and stuff. They're usually quite expensive. And, you know, it's good. I have a sponsorship with them, and they help me, and I help them. And that's just the way it works. You know, I get free G Fuel, I get Scuffs, and I, I Astro, not too much anymore. But at least I get Scuffs and G Fuel, which are really important to me. And what I've been trying to do is give away sometimes. I did a Scuff giveaway a while back. I might try to do one uh, soon as well. And I'm doing a G Fuel giveaway that I have to do today. I will give away, give away two G Fuels that I was doing. But either way, that's that's just another good thing, you know, sponsorships. It's always good having sponsors. Some people, some pros have more sponsors than others. You know, maybe some individual sponsor that, you know, they rep or something like that. And it helps them. So yeah, there's so much pros about being a professional player. And you know, I think the biggest one of all is just having a huge fan base around you and inspiring the people you you want uh, inspiring people that you want to see succeed you know all these amateur players that look up to me or talk to me or all these stuff like i want to see every single one of them succeed i want to see them all become better you know at one point one day i'm gonna quit you know compa I'm, I'm gonna be maybe 23 24 you know i'll be like all right i'm too old to do this any anymore i might work with an moG 
I might do you continue YouTube, working with MLG, etc. Maybe stream. But you know, I'm too old to still be a professional player. You know, my time is done. You know, I I played a lot. I've done really good, and it's hit that hits that point. You know, in a couple years, and I will be like, well, I want all those people. You know, to make it. I want all those people to become professional player. I want all. I want to see all, every single one of them that talked to me, that looked up to me, that I I was I have good memories. I remember the name. I want to be like I I would love them all to succeed. You know, I wish nothing but the best for every single individual person right out there. And you know, that's just something that I love that I have the opportunity to inspire people to make them better. You know, I do YouTube videos sometimes with Coach Apathy or how to do this or how to do that. And you know, it's I want to help people. I want I love to help people. That's just the type of person I am. That's the type of person I was, you know, born. I was raised like that over time. You know, I taught myself that. You know, we need to learn how to help each other. You know, it's, I don't like individually asking for help for someone, but I do it here and there because sometimes you gotta understand that even the best, even the, the biggest, even the hardest, the strongest, they need help too sometimes, whether it's physically or emotionally. And you just, you know, sometimes you just gotta understand that I need help too. And I gotta, I go to a pro player or I go someone else and I'd be like, you know, I'm struggling with this. Or I go to Maria like, oh, how can I improve my YouTube? And just, it just, it just, it's like that. It's like that. You just ask for help. Either way, guys, I think I took too much of your time, but I really wanted to do this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and you know, it's awesome being a professional player. I hope you guys all make it, but just know that some sacrifices will be made. You know, it's not it's not the easiest road as well to get there, but once you are there, it's pretty, it's a lot easier. Things get a lot better, and I just want to say I love you guys. Appreciate this. Appreciate the support. I'll be doing this every single day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out.